Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, coming at you with another review. This time, it is from Motive Fingerboards, um, but their YouTube channel is actually WTF Wood, and I will have all the information down here that you will need, so go check out the channel and subscribe. Also, there are two web two website addresses, but they both take you to the same web page. The first one is www.motivefingerboards.com and the second is www.motivefb.com. So all those links will be down here so you can go check out more of their products and their channel to get um, updates because he's uh, constantly putting videos up on his YouTube channel to let you know what the new products are and when they're going to be available. So go down there, click on it and subscribe. But the product that I'm reviewing for you today is the Motive Rail. It is, I would say, about, looks like it's almost a foot long, which is a decent size, if you ask me. Now, you can see that it is black, but it's actually aluminum. What he does is he has this process, I believe it's called anodizing, and what that is is he shoots an electrical current through the metal, which actually gives it this color, and it makes the aluminum two times stronger than steel, but still extremely light very durable as well now with it with the anodizing changing the color of the metal you won't have to worry about the the color coming off because I've been seshing this rail for days and I the only thing that I've noticed is that yeah every it will leave a scratch here and there but it's not going to be a noticeable scratch because the metal is all the same color so that was I I think is a very nice addition to this product that you won't have to worry about it losing its look because the rail looks sick. Now you probably noticed the footings are not your typical flat footings. They're actual cylinders. They're rounded and they have these rubber rings to act as the non-sliders. Now to me this style of footing was a genius idea. Motive puts a lot of thought into their process and making of their products to make sure that you're extremely happy with them. And the reason why I'm very happy with this style footing is because no matter what type of surface you put it on, you will always have a stable rail at any angle. Because it's, it's round, so if you have like a box here and, you, and then you have your surf, your landing surface, you could put one end of the rail on the box and then the other end of the rail on the landing surface and it will always remain stable. I've tried this this uh, this doing this before with one of my flat rails that have flat footings and um, it kind of like loses its stability because it's not sitting flat on the surface. Where with these round feet, it doesn't matter what angle you put it on, even if you put it like this, you will still have a stable rail. It's it's ingenious what he decided to do with these footings. Also, underneath here, I don't know if you could see, there is a hole right there. Pretty sure you guys could see that. And then there's a screw inside. Now, when you order the rail and it comes to you, you have to do some assembling. You just have to put the feet on. But he also did that for a reason, and that was to save you guys on shipping. Because now, instead of sending the rail in a box, he's able to sell it, send it, in just a bubble mailer. So that also saves on shipping costs. All you will need is um, an Allen wrench just to, to screw on the um, the screws inside here, and they are very well countersunk. You can't even see them, so there's gonna be no interference when you're putting the rail down. My only suggestion to Motive in regards to the this rail, it has nothing to do with performance because the performance in craftsmanship is impeccable. Um, my only recommendation, I don't know if he does it, but he didn't, he didn't do it for me, was to send a few extra of these rubber bands because they are so unique if anything was to happen to one of these rubber bands which uh, I don't think would because they are very durable but if for any reason if one was to get damaged or snap or melt for any reason it's going to be a little difficult to find a replacement um, I don't know if maybe you're considering putting some replacements up on your website so people can purchase them that would be a great idea 
or to maybe just send a couple extras, like maybe one or two. You don't have to send four, but maybe just one or two would be perfect. Um, but another thing you have to you have to be aware of when you purchase this wrench, uh, this wrench when you purchase this rail is that you're going to need an Allen wrench to put it together. Okay. This rail is thirty dollars, which I think is worth every penny considering the the thought that he put into making this product and trying to make it as perfect as possible and to me this is almost one of the m most perfect rails out on the market right now all right guys it is thirty dollars worth every penny so go check out motivefingerboards.com or www.motivefb.com both those links will take you to the exact same website and also the YouTube channel is WTF Wood. He's been trying to change, he's been trying to contact YouTube to change it to Motive, but uh, hasn't been successful yet. But WTF Wood is definitely the Motive Fingerboards YouTube channel. So go check out his channel. He's been posting updates on a regular. And uh, go check out the website. He's also got all kinds of decks. He's also got, I believe, some acrylic decks um, coming out, which um, are, are plastic, but not really. They're obviously going to be waterproof because they're made out of acrylic. So I'm excited to see what those are going to be like. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope um, you guys go purchase from Motive because they are genius in everything that they do. They put a lot of thought into the process, trying to make sure that all their products are perfect for you. All right, so go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.